Welcome back. When you develop applications, more often than not, it is going to involve some sort of a user interaction. For example, a click using a mouse or a key press using a keyboard. Our software has to respond to such interactions. If a software handles user interactions, the corresponding tests should also ensure the interactions are handled as expected. In this section, let's learn all about testing user interactions. To test user interactions, we are going to be using a library called user event. User event is a companion library for testing library that simulates user interactions by dispatching the events that would happen if the interaction took place in a browser. It is the recommended way to test user interactions with testing library. Although we will be sticking to user event in the rest of the series, I want to take two minutes to mention about an alternative called fire event as you will come across fire event when reading the docs. Now fire event is a method from react testing library which is used to dispatch DOM events. However, user event is more superior in the sense that user event simulates full interactions which may fire multiple events and do additional checks along the way. For example, we can dispatch the change event on an input field using fire event. The problem is that the browser usually does more than just trigger one event for one interaction. When the user types into a text box, the element has to be focused and then keyboard and input events are fired and the selection and value on the element are manipulated as they type. User event, unlike fire event, allows you to describe a full user interaction instead of a concrete event. It adds visibility and interactability checks along the way and manipulates the DOM just like a user interaction in the browser would. It factors in that the browser, example, wouldn't let a user click a hidden element or type in a disabled text box. This is why you should use user event to test interactions with your components. Now what is great about Create React App is that the user event library is installed by default. If I head over to package.json in the project, you can see at testing library slash user event. A minor issue here is that user event is now version 14, but Create React App installs version 13. Let's go ahead and update it. In the terminal, in the project folder, Run the command, yarn upgrade, at testing library slash user event, so the package name, followed by at latest. This should bump the major version to 14. All right, I hope you now have an understanding of what the user event library is used for and how to set up version 14 in a project generated using Create React app. Next, let's focus on some of the APIs that user event library offers. And let's start with mouse events in the next video.